Tragedy strikes as 15 year old takes friend on speedboat without supervision leading to fatal crash. A devastating accident occurred after a wealthy couple allegedly allowed their 15 year old son to take a friend out on a speedboat without adult supervision. Anjan and Catherine Tarakan were hosting a party on March 3 when their son Christian invited his friend Colin Morfield to join him on an 18 foot boat named the Key West in Tampa Bay. According to a lawsuit filed by Colin's mother, Brett Morfield. The lawsuit alleges that Christian operated the boat at a speed of 43.5 mph before crashing into a dock while distracted by his foe. Both boys were thrown into the water and Colin remained submerged until a good Samaritan and a St. Petersburg police officer located him. Colin was rusty hospital where he was pronounced dead due to blunt force trauma and drowning. Brett Morfield's lawsuit claims that the Tarakans should have known their son was ill-equipped, inexperienced or both to operate the speedboat without supervision or a lookout. The wrongful death suit also alleges that Christian was under the influence of alcohol during the incident and faults his parents for failing to ensure sobriety and for not checking for alcohol on the boat before departure. According to the lawsuit, Christian was recklessly maneuvering the boat close to several docks before the fatal crash. Surveillance footage from the incident showed the boat colliding with dock support post and ricocheting of another boat on a lift. The speedboat finally stopped four hours away where a bystander turned off the motor and secured it. Despite allegations of alcohol involvement, police reports indicate that no alcohol was found on the boat and Christian showed no signs of impairment. Court records reveal that a subpoena was issued for Christian's medical records following the crash, but his family objected. Christian, who held a water safety identification card, later admitted to speeding and said he was attempting to reconnect his phone to the speaker when the crash occurred. He explained that he may have accidentally hit the boat's wheel and that he dove into the water in search of Colin after the collision. Colin's body was eventually discovered near the docks in by a neighbor who used goggles to search underwater. The Morfield family is now suing Christian for negligence and his parents for negligent entrustment. In response, the Tarakans filed a lawsuit in federal court seeking to limit the potential liability to the value of the boat, approximately $50,000. This action would require more fire. This action would require the more fields to prove direct negligence by Christian's parents to receive further compensation. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's investigation into the tragic accident is ongoing and no charges have been filed against Christian or his parents. The state attorney's office has stated that additional evidence is being gathered before any prosecutorial decisions are made. Thanks.